You're watching News 3 at 6 on KBTX. The conflicts overseas in Israel and also in Ukraine continue tonight, but there are also tensions at our southern border here in Texas. Here to talk more about this is House Foreign Affairs Committee Chairman Michael McCall. Congressman, thank you so much for making the time today. Well, thanks, Katie. Thanks for having me. Let's start with the conflict at the southern border. You recently held a big hearing on the Remain in Mexico <clears throat> policy as well as border threats. What did you learn at this meeting? Well, I, and I really want to hold the administration's feet to the fire on this because this policy in the prior administration uh, was working. It's, it's very simple. When you uh, apply for political asylum, once you enter the United States, you're removed uh, to Mexico uh, pending uh, the adjudication of your claim. What does that mean? That means that you, you're not in the United States and then released into society with catch and release because we don't have enough detention space. This program was working. Um, when uh, the, the President Biden and Mayorkas rescinded that policy, on day one, it changed everything. And the cartels knew that, and they exploit it. And now we have over 7 million encounters, you know, hundreds of thousands of people that have died from fentanyl poisoning and 300 people on the terror watch list who have come into the country. So I, I think it's become very dangerous. It's a national security issue. And that's why I, I agree that it should be part of the overall, you know, Israel package, uh, Ukraine package, and, and also the threat to the uh, Pacific and Taiwan, specifically from communist China. Texas passed border security legislation during this special session. How do you think this will help at the border? And what would you still like to see done with Congress? Well, I applaud my state counterparts, but this is a federal responsibility. It's a responsibility that the federal government and this administration have failed in and have let down the American people. And um, I can tell you, I talk to uh, people on the other side of the aisle who agree with me that they want the border more secure and they know that it's out of control and, it, and it's chaos. And so um, the federal government needs to step up to the plate. I'm hopeful in this national security supplemental that we can get meaningful policy changes, meaningful border security. You mentioned Ukraine. Ukrainian President Zelensky is meeting with congressional leaders today about aid from the U.S. What do you expect to come from this? Do you expect that he'll get the funding he's asking for? Well, again, a lot of this is tied together. Um, after the fall of Afghanistan, uh, Mr. Putin invaded uh, Ukraine. He saw weakness on the part of the president. And then uh, that's a threat to Europe. Uh, it also um, is tied to Chairman Xi in China and his threat to Taiwan and the Pacific. And they're both allies with the Ayatollah in Iran, who we know recently through his proxies, uh, that being Hamas, invaded Israel, uh, massacring innocent civilians and children. Um, you know, I took a trip to Israel, Katie, and I visited with Prime Minister Netanyahu, and he showed me the Hamas video is this grotesque, uh, violent killing of innocent uh, people, including children, in the, in the most grotesque way. And um, it was a very, very profound moment. Uh, but we need to fund our allies and defend our allies against our adversaries like Russia, China, Iran, North Korea. You have also been meeting with several families of Hamas hostages recently. What are you hearing from those families? It's very sad. Um, now, 80 hostages were released. That's the good news. Uh, we have 10 Americans that were held hostage. Only two were released. Uh, and I met with the families, and it's very hard because um, they're, you know, they, they want to have hope that they're going to see their loved ones again. Uh, but it's obviously very, very uh, difficult. Uh, one of the, the, the uh, little girls, she was four years old, who was released. I talked to her mother and she said her daughter just had a sense of darkness about her, um, that she came from a very dark place, probably underground in one of the Hamas tunnels. I met with another mother whose son is, is over there held hostage. And she said, you know, my son's name in Hebrew is a son of light. And we want his light and lightness to shine on the darkness in Gaza. And we hope at the end of the day, 
that this matter can be resolved with uh, Hamas taken out of the uh, equation, uh, where the Palestinian people can be liberated from Hamas. Uh, Israel has no intention of occupying Gaza, but they don't want Hamas there either uh, because they are a terrorist organization. Congressman McCall, thank you so much again for your time and walking us through these different topics. Oh, thanks, Katie. Thanks for having me.